All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on my video today. I have an update that I'm absolutely excited to share with you. About a month or so ago, I was telling you guys that I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, if I was going to buy a bike, get an e-bike, or perhaps just get my motorcycle fixed up and then take it on some journeys, which I do have my bike in the shop right now. And I'm thrilled about getting that back because I'm going to go to Georgia with it. And uh, I, I even said in that video that I had, as of lately, become obsessed with foldable bikes. And I think I might have even told you that I, I reached out to a couple of these bike companies. Well, I heard back from two of them. And one of them actually followed back up and they said, we want to send you a bike. Can we do that? Would you make a video about it? And I said, the one that reached back out to me is the world's largest manufacturer of folding bikes, Dehan. And this is what they sent me. So when I received my bike from Dehan, it came in this box. You'll see there's a symbol in the front, dehan.com down at the bottom. There's a handle up at the top left hand corner. And as you go around to the other side of the box, you can kind of see the dimensions. It's not overly large. It's rather light. And you'll have a handle up here also. So that it is very easy to move from your front porch into your house or your garage or wherever it is you want to unpack it. So now the bike has been completely unboxed. All the paper, the plastic, and the ties have been removed. And the bike has been put in its upright position, ready to ride. Very little assembly at all needs to be done. It almost comes out of the box completely put together, with the exception of one pedal. I did have to put some air in the tires. But other than that, it's pretty much ready to go out of the box. This is a Dehan Vibe D7 7 speed bike. It retails for $649. It is not the cheapest of the bikes, nor is the most expensive. Uh, they do make bikes all the way up to 11 speeds. In fact, Dehan, their website actually at the moment offers 17 different kinds of bikes, and three of them are electric. Now, this bike actually comes in red or black, and I'm very glad they sent me red. Now, one of the things you'll notice about most Dehan bikes is, is that the wheels are 20 inches. They're rather thin. This bike is built for urban use, the say streets and sidewalks. Already, one of the things I appreciate about this bike before I even get on it is the fact that this came with plastic mud guards to keep rain and mud from splattering all over your clothes. They have the one in the back, and likewise, they have the one on the front. So I'm happy about that because not all of their bikes come with those. You can purchase them separately, but this one comes with them already. This bike also comes with a rack. This is another feature that is not offered on every bike, but it does come with the Vibe D7. As I mentioned before, this is a seven speed bike. You shift it simply by cranking the handlebar. This is not a trigger switch. Now the saddle for this bike does look fairly comfortable. I'm assuming you could change it out for whatever you might like. It is telescopic, so you could adjust it to your own height. If you're wondering how tall or how short you need to be to be able to ride this bike, I believe if you're anywhere between 5'4 and 6'4, you should be fairly comfortable. Now the handlebars for the Vibe D7, as well as all other Dehan bikes, is also telescopic. So you can put this thing up and down to adjust to whatever posture you prefer riding in. I like sitting a little more upright, so I have 
the seat in the position I want it and have the handlebar fairly high, but you could put it lower yourself. All you would need to do is to flip this lever right here wide open and you can move this up and down. There is a red dot right here that indicates uh, that this is the ideal folding height mark. Now this bike does have both front and back V-brakes. And naturally you would activate the brakes front and back by depressing the levers up at the top of the handlebars here. Now you can easily access the most comfortable riding position for accessing your brakes by simply flipping this lever right here. And then you can move this however you want. And you can change that as many times as you want. And then all you do is just flip this back and you're good to go. Okay, let's talk about folding this bike and unfolding it because it's the compactness of this bike that makes it so versatile and so attractive and appealing. Okay, so the first thing I want to do before I forget, because I think I'm most likely to forget this, is I'm just going to collapse the pedals just like this. That's pretty cool, right? And then I'm going to put the seat down. I'm going to secure that. I'm also going to, I'm also going to just remove this. I'm trying to do it with one hand, so bear with me. There we go. I'm going to turn this down. I have a feeling I might need to, um, make that pull a little bit shorter and then I'm gonna come over here and go to where the frame actually folds I'm gonna lift this up right here I'm gonna pull this open now to complete the folding of the bike all I need to do is put the kickstand up I'm gonna fold it at the frame right here where the hinge is at. I might normally do this from the other side. And if you'll, if you can see it, and she may not be able to, but you can trust me on this. There is a magnet right here and a magnet right here. And once these make contact, it secures the bike so that it won't come apart. There we have it. Your bike is in place. It's completely folded up. It can stand up on its own because the seat is all the way down and the post is kind of a jack for the bike itself. So it's self-sustaining. One of the most attractive things about this to me was it because it's so portable and it's so light, only about 28 pounds, you can keep this with you no matter where you go. If you take this to the office, you can put it under your desk. If you ride a train or a bus, you can take this on there with you. You can even fly with this. They make suitcases, Dehan makes suitcases for this bike to be able to take onto an airplane. All right, it's time to take this thing out for a spin. And easily carry this transport just by holding it by the seat. And I have a pretty compact car. It's a Mazda 5. Nothing special about it, but it is a hatch. So, there I have it. I could easily fit three of these in here. So now I'm at my destination. Came down to Peterson Park. I'm gonna unfold the bike, show you guys just how quickly this all goes. There you go. Fold, stow, and go. It's that fast. Yeah, got a little league game going on. Now, several weeks have gone by since the beginning of the making of this video. Um, I haven't been able to get it all done as quickly as I wanted to because every day there were thunderstorms, lightning, and rain. 
and so I had to put off actually re recording. But I have gotten some bike ride time in, and so I'm gonna make my remarks based upon those experiences. Now this is when I wish I really had a, a an Insta360 cam to be able to uh, show you what it looks like from a different perspective, but uh, this bike rides really nice. I get I get plenty of uh, of a stretch for my long legs on this. I don't have to uh, worry about it being too short for me. I love it out here. Sometimes you can sometimes you can see alligators out here. I'm riding along in seventh gear, and this thing is uh, pretty speedy. I'm loving it. I'm having a great time on it and uh, I think you would too. In fact, I like this bike so much that I ended up getting two other Dehan bikes, a Mariner D8 and another Vibe D7, that one in black. The portability of these bikes and the compact nature of them, what attracts me so much about it is that you can just so quickly stow it away in your, in your vehicle without having to worry about extra apparatuses to be able to transport them. And for me, what it means is spending more time with my family because now I've got other bikes and um, I also am, I'm going to be able to make other bike videos. You know, I want to be able to get on here and just take some scenic tours. wherever I want to go and not have to worry about how I'm going to get my bike there. I have to lug something heavy around. Well, imagine being able to do that and that's what this that's what this bike right here and any Dehan bike would allow one to do. Now I've mentioned some of the features of this bike uh, leading up to this but uh, and I've talked about the, the tires being on the smaller side. They are 20 inch tires uh, but they're one and a half inch and that allows you for a tighter turning radius, I've noticed. And that's gonna be really handy if you're riding it downtown, on sidewalks, or you need to move maneuver around people really quick. You're gonna be able to do that with this. You could, you could change out, you could change out the tires if you wanted to, to something bigger. I don't know, maybe in time I will and have fun experimenting with things because things are interchangeable. And another thing, that because this is a geared bike, you can go up and down hills in much the same way you can any other geared bike. Uh, Lake, I mean, Florida's pretty flat, you know, as a state, but Lakeland, particularly South Lakeland, has some pretty steep grades. And I've been able to go up and down in the lower gears quite easily. Um, so don't let the sides of this bike or the eccentric uh, appearance of it fool you because it's very capable of handling anything you want to do on it. Now, Dehan does tell you that uh, when you when you buy this and you pull everything out of the box that you should take it to a dealer, have it inspected, you know, activate the warranty. So I did just that. And they said that the tension cables needed to be tightened, but that's quite normal when a bike is shipped. A lot of times the, the brakes need to be adjusted, but they told me that the brakes were just fine. I didn't have to do anything to them. So that was pretty cool. You know, it was very, very simple and uh, easy to take care of. And so now I'm set to enjoy this bike as much as I want to in as many ways as I want to. Let's see if we can go up this boardwalk. Yeah, I have no problem taking this on here. I don't feel like I'm, I would be crowding anybody. I can get around others uh, very easy. I wouldn't need big turns or big moves. Just really simple. Look how pretty this is. So now, what I would tell you is if you want to get out and explore more, but you don't want to have to deal with uh, bike racks and 
things like that and you just want to be able to get up and go whenever you want to this might be the thing for you see that was a tight turn I had no problem making that I'm only I'm only using one hand just coast so long here All right, so guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's uh, at least piqued your curiosity a little bit about uh, Dayhan bikes and, and uh, whether getting one would be for you or not. And uh, I hope you at least look them up and try them out. Now, I will tell you that earlier in the video, I did say that uh, currently uh, Dayhan offers like 17 different bikes, but if you go on their Instagram, and I'll try to put a link for that, down below if you go on their Instagram channel they actually have way more bikes than that way more many different colors different styles so if you wanted something different you might be able to DM them inquire of them I don't know I don't know how you do it but I'm sure you get something different if you didn't like what you saw on the web page that, uh, that I saw I'll put an Amazon link down below also and uh, I think I've actually seen this bike going for even a little less than what I quoted. So I'll try to put a link for that. But uh, anyway, guys, I've enjoyed this. I hope you have too. I hope, I hope it's made you want to look into doing something that'll get you outside, get you some exercise, and uh, allow you a way to spend time with your family doing something, you know, pretty active. All right, I'm going to sign off now. Thanks for joining me. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.